Let's see, I'm still hungry. Oops. Hmm. So, uh, what is this about? I actually like this uh, YouTuber. I didn't see Godzilla. Let me show you what it is. It is Godzilla versus Godzilla X Comedy Empire. Peak dumbness and hypocrisy. I don't know about that. It's a little bit too much. I mean, I know it was bad because the humans were bad, but I didn't think it was that bad. <laughs> I thought I thought the monsters were peak, were good. The monster fights were really, really good, in my opinion. Any anything that didn't speak English was good. All the English speakers or the or the people the humans they are trash. That was my opinion. And I'm, I was really happy that it felt like more than half of the movie was the monsters, because it was it was mostly humans talking, being boring. I would I would hate the movie. Oh yeah. Oh, let's do this real quick. He did it again, Cerberus. Mother, one thing I was wondering about was, how did you summon Charon to your surface residence? Especially without, you know, being dead. But he did it again. Cerberus, I don't get it. Return, died again, I guess? Oh, why, he gave me his calling card after he graciously helped get me out of here the first time. No doubt at Nix's request, but still. Never thought I'd use it, but I still kept it. Just a... No idea what a calling card is, but okay. Yeah, I know, because he's not... Yeah, he's not from the surface. He doesn't know. Megara and her sisters ganged up on me that time. I didn't think anyone could talk her into working with Electo and Tisiphone again. Or even be in the same chamber. I can be quite persuasive under certain circumstances, boy. Though my advice to you, not that you'll take it, is not to discuss the matter openly. Megara is a professional, but she has made her feeling. Didn't think things could get any more awkward with her. I don't wish to presume, lad, but you seem more glum than usual. What's way? Oh, it's just... I've never slain a living creature, sir until my recent journey to the temple up above. I know they're just satyrs and vermin, but it's not the same as sending wretches to the depth. Look, all mortal life is fragile. It simply is a struggle to... Now that you mention it, I have to say I'm glad we can accommodate all former living things, and at least mortals get to rest... Indeed, lad. Whatever, mortals. Oh, no, those are... Oh, the whiny girl again. But that was then, and this is now, and we have work to do. Uh, anyway, San, I think we'd best continue this discussion at some other time. You're interrupting private conversations, Agrius. Leave us. No, let him stay if that's what he wants. This is like a rerun. I think I've heard that one before. This free, this, uh, conversation. <laughs> Here's what I caught lately. Not go ahead. Till next time. Yeah, I built a whole bunch of stuff here. Ooh, look where all done. Nothing else. Um, I built something here. I have flowers, I have bedding. I put axes there. Hmm. Up here it comes. Whoa, look at these expensive ones. Wow. Super expensive. Now we did. We picked the likeness of. Oh, he was himself. Hmm. No wonder. Hmm. I don't know if any of this stuff really matters. Is this decoration? Yeah, 
Who knows? I don't know if it mattered. Ooh, I finished something. Pleasure doing business with you, Fates. Hmm? Vanquish Extreme Measures thesis. Seek Poseidon. Oh yeah, I did that, huh? Mm. Yeah. Anything to cut these? Oh yeah, he was making size. fun of he was making fun of thesis and all of his extra presents and everything. So it was. The son of God of death shall someday suffer various curses inflicted by primordial chaos. Oh, we got everything except for slippery. Why is this thing showing up so late after we're almost done with it? Man, I guess slippery must be really bad. Uh, what's this? Oh, the hidden aspect of the shield. Hmm. I'm a thousand percent sure you can't practice. There's no way to get better. You have to pay him nectar to get better. Need practice. With a lot of nectars. Alright. Let's see what this is. Oops. Okay. Uh, on opening day, something that I deeply regret, but I'm glad that I waited because I got to experience it after we What's new, Skelly? An Alamo Raft House cinema, and I got to admit it. My shield. Far greater gods than I once wielded you. Father. People took seriously and crafted a coherent story, even though it has issues too. But you see the tone of those original movies that these sequels are based on. It just feels very irreverent. This shield's about to get a whole lot stronger. It just completely falls apart. Then the franchise turns into a Never been a finer shield. Because she chose to protect him. She's holding thousands of people hostage. And it could have been thousands more if she hadn't put up her own quarantine. You just, you know, you have Literally set people on fire for no reason. Constantly insults Loki and treats him like. Bad word. 
No redeeming qualities, but everyone sh says she's amazing because the plot says so. <laughs> you know, the one thing I hated about Loki is that they made a female Loki. Like, anything but the status quo, anything but the corporate's uh, the corporate message would have been better, but they had to do the corporate message, which is change everybody into a female lesbian or, or gay person or whatever. Ah, uh, jeez. Of course, of course.
Prius, that nectar you sent? I need a life force right now. And she's like, excuse me? And he just like, yeah, you heard me. And then you just see pieces of her body floating the top in several sections. And I just feel so bad. Like, that that's all we got, really? Artemis, oh, guide my hand. So nothing was really spoiled past the first two trailers. People might not think that matters, but it matters a lot to me. And I, I realized what it was like when I watched it again. And Oh, I noticed that too, the CGI, but it wasn't that big of a deal. The CGI was not, like, there's one image where the blue uh, Godzilla, the, the ice Godzilla, not the Godzilla, but the other one, was like humongous. He was like, I don't know, like three or four times taller than all the monkeys. And then the next scene, where the, where the monkey's on top of the thing, it's like, oh, it's only like the same size as the monkeys. So like, the size... <laughs> the size, the size of the ice monster, changed based on the scene, and it didn't change a little bit. It was a lot. It was like a uh, a thousand feet high, then all of a sudden it's only two hundred feet high. Next scene it's three thousand feet high, then it's only a hundred feet high. Constantly changing, it didn't make sense. But I think I th it almost looked like it was made by different people, like some. A different CGI uh, specialist made the made the intro of him, so they were told to make him like giant and scary, intimidating. So they made him like a like a hundred ten thousand feet, ten thousand meters high, whatever. And God and um, Kong was only like a hundred or maybe a thousand meters high. So the so the ice uh, ice dragon was like ten thousand, ten times higher. But then. In the next scene, when the monkeys are riding on top of them, then they're the same size. <laughs> that was crazy. There's a couple other uh, disparities, but that was the main one. Huge. The next she just I accept this message. I do. Then this is perfect. But now let's move on to the meat of the argument, which is how people feel about it. That's a relief. There are Kaiju fans that just did not like the movie. It wasn't their best, and there are those who absolutely loved it. Like I personally loved it, but I can also recognize that there were issues with it. Like I mentioned before, the human existence specifically only for I did not like the humans. They, they were only there for exposition, yes, but even for a child, it was useless. It didn't. It was everything was pointless. I mean, well, actually, for a child, the girls like, oh, I'm the smarty pants. I'm the I'm the savior, and I guess little girls would love that because they can relate to being the the, the like basically being God or whatever, being the, the leader of the story, or whatever. So I guess that's what it's for. It's for children, but for everybody else, that is not. That is not a child. It's it's just freaking insulting. It's pretty dumb, and and you know it was expedit. You didn't even need to have exposition because you know the, the I don't know. I never really thought the original Godzilla had childish stuff to it, but it was mostly. I think it was mostly. I think the original Godzilla was mostly for boys, and so it was pretty insulting to make it for girls. And so, like, who's your audience? Is it little boys? Because boys used to watch Godzilla back in the days, and it wasn't about whatever it is about now. And then they changed, they like, you know, it's now for little girls, I guess. It's just dumb. And uh, that's what it was. That's why I didn't like the, the, the humans. Do 
it is. Very stupid. You cannot walk away from this movie if you like this. At least she agrees with me that it's very stupid. It's so low IQ, childish, you know, it's just dumb. It's a waste. It was just, I don't know. They should, I don't know. The problem was, is that it just felt like this, 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 I don't know. They should have just, uh, if they advertised this as a children's show, I would have, I would have enjoyed it more, but it wasn't. It was like an adult show because it had like blood and gore and uh, violence. And I don't think girls like that stuff. So like, it was like they're mixing in too many genres and it just becomes trash after a while. You're just mixing in too many flavors and all of a sudden you just got garbage. You put the pineapple in the in the in the smoothie, you put the steak in the smoothie, you put the peanuts in the smoothie, you put the jalapenos in it, and all of a sudden you grind it up and there's what do you have? Barf. <laughs> That's what the movie became. But I actually liked the uh, the, the like if you erased all the humans from this, like deleted it, it was actually it would actually be a better movie. It'd be a better show. Breaks it hot. Look who. Sisyphus, I've meant to ask. Where are you getting all this stuff you give to me? You must be pretty well connected around here. Yeah, but the difference between those two shows is Sharknado is clearly advertised for dumb people. They didn't advertise uh, Godzilla and Kong. Or dumb people. The original monster uh, fights were for boys because they liked to get rough and, and wrestle. And so they pretend to be monsters. When we were kids, we used to watch Godzilla fight all the time. But it was cool because they were like, you know, they're borderline bad guys and like doing bad things. But it's fun because boys like doing that stuff, destroying things. That's kind of like a boy thing. But girls really aren't into that thing, like wrestling and. You know, getting into the roughing, roughing up. That's kind of like what the monsters were doing, and that's why it was entertaining for boys. When they, when they, with the quotation marks, subvert, invert, subvert expert, expectations. When you expect them to be wrestling a lot, and then all of a sudden they do girl stuff, playing with dolls. Well, it's lame. You know, if, if a boy that likes watching old Godzilla fighting shows where they with it punching down and destroying buildings and eating eating humans inside the buildings and punching each other and knocking down just just complete devastation. Well, boys like that stuff, but then when you switch it up with playing with dolls, it's like, ugh, are you kidding me? Dumb. Yeah. Oh well, you know. That I can do. Cheers, mate. Caron's shop. Greetings, Electo. There you are. Damn you for this red blood. Electo, I didn't ask you to repeat it. <laughs> She's getting angry.
That was a tough fight. <laughs> Somebody That's got bored good. because they didn't have to do like some like who's bullying you because they had a bad game? I'm pretty sure it's probably some kind of social media thing that I'm not part of. Because I'm probably banned from it or something. Who knows? Let's see how you fare. Which one? Get the next one. I want to this stuff. Not really. Check the maybe some hills. Extra coin. Oops. Oh my bad. That was going to win. Dude, that was going to win. Gosh. That was not going to be smart. Uh, who's getting bullied for what? What does that say? Super tiny. Bro's about to repeat. Bro's about to repeat the Dr. Skipper incident. Bro thinks his Dr. Skipper. Just a reminder that this franchise started with Godzilla being up cyber space chickens, robot beetles, robot clones. What the hell? Dude. Dude, what the hell? That's so dumb. This The, the franchise started with like WWE wrestling, men in suits doing wrestling and destroying buildings and doing all kinds of chaos. It wasn't about little girls freaking sign languaging and hugging and loving and playing with little baby dolls dude screw you that's dumb <laughs> these fat these idiots don't even get it until next time topless yes Change of scenery at least. I understand why that guy got the backlash that he did, and that was mainly because he was not their opinion. But it does feel like the kind of bill threat like, yeah, remember how we turned that guy apart? You better walk in line, or else we're gonna do the same thing. It's almost like a bunch of children arguing with each other. It's so dumb. You can't even get any logic, like common sense with these people. What the heck are they? Where are they? Where's this chat lock coming from? If I do. Is this on like. Is this on like a review? What is this on? Is it like a movie review? I don't know. To tell exactly why I like the movie. It's dumb as F and as a result it's fun as F. Yeah. That's why I thought it was fun. But 
you gotta at least admit that those humans were boring. Or we'll put more humans in there talking, and it'll be nothing but talking and dumb. If you like dumb, then why don't you just have a why don't you watch idiocracy movies? It's just a picture of a guy getting kicked by the balls, or another one called um, the A word, and just nonstop farting. <laughs> <laughs> that's idiocracy. That's what these. That's what these fans are like. They're like the fans on idiocracy. If 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 they had their way, they would want, They would make the idiocracy come true. <laughs> that's what it feels like. Eh, whatever. If they like that that dumb stuff, then let them buy that dumb stuff. But eventually, it's going to be nothing but toddler crap. That's all they're going to like. It's all it's going to be popular is toddler stuff. And I'll keep buying Japanese animation because. That's why it's popular because American movies have gone the way of low IQ, and these guys will, these low IQ people will always buy American media because it's specifically made for them. <laughs> low IQ people. The first movie just suddenly go up in flames and cease to exist if someone says that they don't like one of the Godzilla movies out of the many that they've seen and they're a fan of, or that they prefer one Godzilla two. minus one over this one. Is someone no longer a real fan because they didn't like one movie of the franchise? Are you guys really that sad to want to bully someone because they have to have a deal? Off we go. I've talked to other Jurassic Park fans and absolutely said they the Lost World. Funny enough, because The Lost World is one of my favorite movies. <sighs> You're quite done with shots. The cult mentality will be bad no matter who is wearing it. And as audience members, people should know better. You're criticizing the journalist for doing exactly the same thing to you that you're doing to another member of the community. All the shame of your health. Some of the jobs that I read are just really sickening. Like cultish. I'm just trying to check what it says. I left this on other posts, but for me personally, I'd give the movie a 6 out of 10. I still enjoyed it, and the fights were pretty cool. See, I agree the fights were pretty cool, but the humans were dumb. See, these morons agree with me, and they're... I don't know. The thing is, is that these idiots, they're going to love movies as they get closer and closer to idiocracy. idiocracy. And pretty soon, those top two movies on Idiocracy are going to be actually the top two movies in America because people are so low IQ, that's what they're going to like. Just a picture of some butt farting nonstop. That's what they're going to love because it's the lowest IQ thing possible. Uh, cool to watch, but it feels like it takes the issues of Godzilla vs. Kong and kind of amplifies them by a ton. Human characters aside from Jai feel like a plot device to push the story forward. Yeah, but you don't need to even have a story because this is just dumb fighting stuff. But the only reason why they added the humans in there is either, number one, they're cheap and there's, it's, it doesn't cost a lot of money, or number two, they're trying to in, inject an agenda, a childish, immature agenda for adding or for trying to get a broader audience, trying to get the girls involved. Or trying to entertain girls because girls don't did never. I don't remember girls ever liking Godzilla before they added the what is it called the woke woke message. Now woke is trying to change all the male spaces into female spaces. That's what they're doing here. That's why it was annoying because it didn't even make sense in the Godzilla universe because the Godzilla is not about talking, not about being emotional, it's not about blah blah blah. No, it's about dumb fighting. WWE dumb fight, that's what it's all about. But, you know, these morons act pretending that this is supposed to be dumb and whatever, they don't get it. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, anyways, oh yes, tourist is spitting facts. Spelled it wrong. They should have just redone 2014 with showing thigh shots of Godzilla and Kong and cutting away the, the cool, emotion, emotionless face. Uh, do you not understand there are two types of Godzilla movies? There's the dark, sinister Godzilla, is the antagonist and fully destructive towards humanity, and then there's Godzilla Showa, 
era where Godzilla is an anti-hero or protagonist and just destroys monsters. This movie is reminiscent of the Showa era. What do you fools not understand about this God? For Godzilla fans, this is another, the other side of Godzilla minus one that yeah, everybody wants monsters playing characters playing the beat down. Yeah, but that has nothing to do with why should we have more female scenes that girls like. Emotional scenes and low IQ stuff. I don't know, stuff. They should just have the whole thing, just erase all the humans, or just have humans there to be sacrificed by the monsters as to get crushed. <laughs> but, anyways, I thought the, the, the human scenes were just irrelevant completely. Uh, exposition, no, you don't need that. Just let the monsters fight. The monsters themselves were, I don't know, I guess people are just too stupid to get it when the monsters are fighting what their, object, what their motives are. Maybe that's why, because. Americans are just dumb. <laughs> but the old movies never had that. It was like really quick scenes where they were just saying what they're doing and it was all done in like a couple of seconds and then let the let the ninety nine percent of the show be all about the monsters. But this show was probably sixty percent monsters, forty percent boring humans. You, you should all be ashamed of yourself. Some of the but proof that not everyone really should be a movie critic. Oh, that's dumb. This is the single most stupid and pedantic take. What? Does this guy even know what that means? Pedantic take? Gosh, let's have to Google this. Like, to make sure. Uh, many of the essays are long dancing to what? To and to <laughs> check this out for the definition of pendant. Oh gosh, this is so dumb. <laughs> I knew it was dumb when I saw that word. Check it out. You guys gotta see this. So, whoops. So the definition of pedantic, according to Google Dictionary, is of or like a pedant. <laughs> they use the word in the definition of the word. They use the same word in the definition of the word. Let's see. Definition of pedant. A person who is excessively concerned with minor details and rules or with displaying academic learning. Huh? That is not excessive at all. I just don't want the humans in there at all. Or at least I don't want them to be. I don't want the message to be all about females when the show's never been about females. I don't know. It shouldn't be about what women like. Because they're clearly in injecting more feminine uh, entertainment to make it more attractive to women. Whereas. Originally, this used to be all about what boys like, little kids like, little boy kids. But whatever. I mean, I could. I, it's been so long ago, to be honest. It's been like 30 or 40 years since I've watched the original uh, Godzilla shows. But I remember it was being the original Godzilla shows were like 99% monster fighting. Every single episode was just straight to the monsters fighting, or it was like really quick. Humans talking, oh my god, here's the monster coming! And then 99% monsters fighting. Very rarely did they talk about, I love you, mommy! I will always. This. And the mom was like, daughter, you can leave me, and uh, you can leave me, and, and it's okay if this is your home. And the daughter's like, no, mommy, you're my home. Mommy is my home. <laughs> Zero times have they ever had a scene like that that I remember. Zero times have they ever had, like, I don't know. Zero times have they ever had so much in, in Godzilla like that. But like they they they're starting to do it. Like they're starting to do that in every show. Like they're they're replacing every single uh, character with a female with a female. Um, what is it? Whatever. I'm, you know what would be great if if they replaced King Kong with a female monkey. That would be awesome. 
and then you play Godzilla with a female uh, lizard. That'd be awesome. <laughs> just just add boobs, and then it'll be a female. Because <laughs> then, because then it'd be like you're, I don't know, just um, um let's see, um, characters replaced as females. No, replaced now to female. There's a lot of them. Oh my gosh, I think they're loading. Like, ugh. I don't know any of these people, <laughs> to be honest. Oh, that's the Doctor Who. The Doctor and Doctor Who was replaced with a female because they're trying to attract more female from, from more women. Even though the audience of Doctor Who was like 95% men. Well, the moment they uh, rejected the the men and they started advertising to women, uh, nobody likes that show anymore. And I'm I'm 99% certain Doctor Who is gonna die. It'll be no longer cool. I don't know any of these shows to be honest. I don't recognize any of these characters. I'm sure they're probably the male characters I recognize, but I don't I don't recognize the female characters. Oh, this was actually a pretty good show. This is uh, Buck. Starbuck used to be male, then he turned into female. <laughs> but to be honest, this was a pretty good one because they didn't do like she was. I don't know. The show was pretty good. I think it was because it was a good show that I liked it. It was a really good show. these do I know any of these what no, doesn't make sense Anyways, I know that all the main heroes were gender swapped or swapped from something to something that is not what they originally were often. It's pretty annoying because I would rather have them actually make good media and not uh, do a retake of a crappy thing. <laughs> or, or it's always gender swapped in one direction and it's never done in the direction that I like. <laughs> Because I would like everything to be gender swapped to Asian male. Well, guess what? That'll never happen. It has never happened ever. And so, since it will never happen to in the direction that I like, then I hate all gender swaps or sex or race swaps, whatever. There you go. I mean, was there ever a gender swap? To me? I should be doing that. Let's see. Uh, gender swap female to male. Characters. None. <laughs> Zero. Yep, it's never happened. See? If you guys uh, know about any uh, popular female characters that were gender swapped to male, or any popular races that are race swapped to Asian, Asian males, not being like Asian males. I want to know. I really want to know. I really, really want to know. Because I don't think it exists. And if it doesn't exist in my direction, I don't want it to exist in the other direction at all. Because it's not fair to me that I never get what I want. In fact, I only get trash media. Anyways. And the domain is public. public. So I'm not pulling up everybody else's spot. You decide to copy. Me, but hey, look, it's me, witches. Oh. 
Demeter. Okay. You don't like chocolate ice cream? You're not a real chocolate ice cream lover, no? I just didn't like this particular <laughs> Yeah, how dare you judge it? How dare you give it your opinion? Your opinion sucks. That's pretty much all the children on the internet. That's why they shouldn't be allowed on the internet. In fact, I believe that anybody that posts on the internet should be instantly marked as anonymous and you should have the way to filter it. Filter to hide all anonymous posters, and the only people that are allowed to comment are people that are public or adults. Because obviously, you can't make fun of or you cannot talk, have a conversation with a child because it is considered offensive <laughs> to, t to tell the truth to a child. Anyways, brand of chocolate ice cream or the way it was made today. No, you're not a real fan. I must admit, I have. to need people to come to the fan base. Other people are watching this. Other people watch these videos and read people's comments. And we have fans out there who want to enter the MonsterVerse fandom. And then they see everybody acting unhinged and they're gonna be like, yeah, this this franchise is obviously for toxic ass people, so I'm out. And I know not everybody represents this, but the very, very vocal section of the community are making it seem like that's the case. And that's not cool. We need to stop doing that. I would love to see more. I want to see more kind of They always uh, that's cold. us in these movies by showing us the different sectors of other kind of are. No, we have no idea what these kind of are. We're getting new ones. That's something I'm very excited about. And I love the direction that they're taking. Let's wait and see what the time would call actually means to show that That would be cool. And he can actually have a family. I enjoy That's what I'm talking about. They should add a female version of it. Then we can say, oh, there it is. <laughs> Then we, then we can stop saying this is Godzilla and Kong. We can say it's uh, whatever the female is. It's, it's um, I don't know, Lolita. And and they'll have like a, I don't know, like a black um, Godzilla. It'll be a, a female uh, monkey and a black Godzilla. So it'll be like Lolita and, um, I don't know, what's a good name? Lolita and Aiden, <laughs> but, well, something like that, and then I can say, "Oh, I'm not." Then I could just decide to not watch it. <laughs> for the record, none of my votes count. None of my opinions count because I never pay for these movies. Even if I like it, I almost never pay for it. I always eventually watch it. Well, I don't know. Either somebody pays me to watch it because they want to take me there, or I just don't watch it at all. I almost never get to see these movies unless it's like three or something. Seeing Godzilla change, and I enjoy looking forward to Not now!
Well, that's the problem with low IQ people. They don't really think. It was actually the spe the villagers or the I'll, I'll call them Indians. They're most likely they're close to Indians, but like the, the village Indians, they had a special ability, a special genetic ability, and the reason that they weren't talking to each other was because they have a special ability to telepathically communicate. And I'm not sure if it's through touch, because it seemed like it was mostly through touch. But maybe they were able to telepathic communicate without touching. And so that's why they never learned how to talk. And that's why she had to use sign language and couldn't talk. And then when she got to uh, uh, King Kong, she touched King Kong. And then King Kong understood because the telepathic connection was uh, stronger when she touched his hand. And then when she showed up uh, in front of Godzilla, and I think Mothra helped her communicate because Mothra shared some of the powers and uh, able was able to telepathically communicate to Godzilla say hey check it out we gotta go down here to save the, the universe and Godzilla instantly understood because that was the first time they, that he was able to communicate that's how that's what happened just just saying and, you know, it's, I don't think they have that in the show because in in the old school show of 30 40 years ago they never even communicated. it was just all well, they did have team battles, but like, it was mostly like WWE stuff. Like, nothing ever meant anything. It was just a, a little, little, like, it was mostly one versus one fight, but they had some, some uh, t tag team fights, but there was like almost no meaning behind it. <laughs> it had less meaning than this movie. It was just tag team WWE wrestling. It's basically like watching a WWE. If you don't watch WWE wrestling, then. You probably wouldn't have liked the old school uh, uh, Godzilla stuff. And that's what it was. It's mostly like WWE wrestling back in the days when they had Hulk Hogan and all that stuff. And if you if you actually were paying attention to this movie, they did do some WWE. They did a suplex. Um, one of them, I think, got uh, King Kong suplexed uh, uh, Godzilla one time. And they did a couple other uh, WWE movies. I don't know if you guys recognized it, but they did. I did, and those were reminiscent of the old days, olden days. You know, they actually did those in the old days, and it was it was cheesy as, as hell back in the days, and it's still cheesy now, but it's awesome to watch. Shock, and I think that was kind of fan service, but I'm just curious of how that works. So, do the Ely people have the ability to summon kaiju, or at least summon Mothra? And then there's actually the the Mothra was I think the Mothra was in the I think the Mothra was asleep in the lair there and I'm not uh, entirely sure what the lair was it was kind of like a it kind of looked like an, like a like a like a like a like a cocoon so Mothra was in a cocoon inside of a cocoon inside the cocoon that they were controlling so and in the original 30 40 years ago Martha would just fly in from nowhere from far away and so they never showed the cocoon because it was too much work and it was just another human inside of a uh, costume and so they're all the same size and so the the, the Mothra in CGI looked different from the Mothra of 30 40 years ago because you have to remember all of those monsters were actually men in costumes just WWE wrestling each other it was just a it was just another dude in a, in a moth costume with big wings and they were doing suplexes and and grabbing each other you know how wrestlers grab each other to do the, the monsters back then did the exact same thing and then they would do like a like WWE like the punch they do the exact same thing and they do the WWE kick and then they fall down and destroy a building you know that was cool for kids boys love that stuff I don't remember any girls liking that girls uh, if they ever liked anything it was never Godzilla it was always something like the you know something else doubles or when Mothra dies can she immediately summon another one right away and keep <laughs> So not only 
only you're getting character development, you're getting the size of characters, but you're also getting the world building, which is being look at the dinosaurs too. World building with that. <laughs> I wonder what she thought about um, Loki. Did she hate Loki? Hmm. Cause like that was another gender swap. I just remembered Loki gender swap into a, a girl. I should say for the record, I actually liked the Loki show because it was really high produ produced and it was good. I just didn't like them. Like, the the female character Loki kind of lowered the, the rating. I think the show would have been better if it didn't have a female Loki. Or maybe, you know, if it was just another different person that wasn't female Loki, it would have been better. The reason why the show was good is because the male Loki... <clears throat> was in majority of the show that's why and I just when I when I recognized the female Loki being the, the what it's called the the prime Loki the best Loki I was like are you kidding me another one of these shows but it turned out that the male Loki was better well the male Loki was prominent through majority of the show and so I was like oh thank god it's actually saved <laughs> it was actually entertaining if they if they had the female Loki actor Doing the majority of the show, I would be just—I don't know—it would just be, ugh, it would just be gross. I don't know. I didn't think the female Loki did anything that I really cared about. The male Loki did more of the most interesting stuff. The original Loki. When we finally got around to seeing him, after many mentions of him being this malevolent force on par with Thanos, or possibly even worse, he was overthrown by a bunch of ants. Let me tell you something, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something, let me tell you something. And it was so easy to defeat this person with an ant colony when nations who already had technology. If only you knew just how I feel, Ernie. You hear me do so? Oh. 
I think the reason why is because, well, to be honest, the demo looking needed to be able to kill him at the end. That's why. Probably. Because if he was overpowered, then the demo looking wouldn't be able to kill him. Or wouldn't have been able to kill him so easily. Absolutely nothing. Now he's back! What she doesn't understand is that men are not allowed to be the, the power or intelligent people in the show for women. It's supposed to be the women that control and do all the important things. The men are just angry and bad things, bad beings. That is why we have to have a female Loki to do all the good things. And the male Loki is, is just a, like a background thing. All the all the important things are done by the female Loki. That's what I thought they were going to do, but they luckily turned it around at the very end, which, you know, subverted my, subverted my expectations, because I expected all the women to be the winners, and all the men to be fixed. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, stop the <laughs> meant to fly. She said Sylvia is so annoying as ever. <laughs> I knew it. She was annoying. I I called it. She said she was annoying. Yep, yep, yep. Called it. I'm going to turn this off because I'm about to die. I think I'm being distracted too much by the uh, YouTube videos. And I don't want to die because I was distracted. No excuses allowed. That's what I'm saying. Don't worry, I can still bring it back. You know how I'm going to do that? By focus. By being focused. And I still need... Do I still need Demeter? How come I didn't get any of these things? I didn't get any of these things. I feel like I've been cheated. I feel cheated. I've been ridden so hard. Just 
what I need. Also, this shield is not really my like the the charge is really slow, so it's hard to use the charge. And it's like his main attack. Next region. Ugh, gross. Clear. The other shields have more. I don't know. More utility or something. This one, the main attack is just too slow. Time to pick a fight. To be fair, I kind of ruined it by, by changing it to a slicing bear or whatever. Flame wheels. The Demeter burn is not giving it to me. Oh, this is not. That's just not cool. Not cool. Not cool. Look how short it is too. That's cool. I can't. Sh it's like the cast is reloaded. <laughs> Combined with annoying abilities, feeling stronger. 
I'm definitely not gonna make it Yay, get me here. Maybe I can get a dude in the Well, I could have done either one. You. Did meter or Aries would have worked? Neither You're sure oh, I should have done one. But I'm just as opposite well, I do as have you. Since you have the